Hi there. Just wanted to share with everyone the envelope that I made for the ocean goddess. She's getting ready to wing her way across the oceans, which is appropriate to us, to her new home in Australia. And I thought it would be nice to share the envelope that I made for her, for a special container for a special necklace. The main part of the envelope is vintage Ukrainian homespun linen. It's probably in the neighborhood of about a hundred years old. I've got I think three rolls of this that I just really treasure. The uh, edges are all raw. The ties are an unbleached linen from Provence uh, that we bought the yardage some years ago when we were traveling in Europe, when we were in Provence for our anniversary, which is a really nice, but another special piece of fabric. The bow, little ties open up. They're bias cut strips that I hand cut bias strips. The little decorative element here, this is from a mold that I made from an angel wing shell that I got over in St. Augustine, not far from where we are here in Gainesville. And this is the sterling silver metal clay that's been pressed into the angel wing mold. So that's a really nice ocean element to put with it. And then a fine silver um, bar of that does the the bottom closure there for the secure to secure that. Then all the edges I've stitched with on the machine zigzagged so that they won't unravel forever but just wanted to secure that. Everything else was done by hand so it opens up and opens up and then we have a little platform that I built out of Davy board. There's layers of Davy board. There's a raised piece here in the center to hold the necklace secure and then organic cotton batting overlay for padding and then more of that unbleached linen from Provence and then it's hand stitched along here with waxed silk and uh, the wax silk cord like I use for my necklaces and then the ties I like the simplicity of the ties so this is more of those bias cut strips so it just ties on I've got three ties for each of the just to secure each side and to keep her from sliding around opens up opens up and then one little hook at the top and there she is she's nice and secure and then we're going to box her all up with more bubble wrap and secure padding and put her on a plane and send her off to Australia so I just want to thank everyone for following along it's been fun it's certainly been a labor of love and hopefully we'll do more of these it's it, who knows maybe we'll try to do a little video series but thanks so much for joining me and have a wonderful day thanks